So that's a perfect amount to get started right away. All right, here we go. Okay, so here we have the workbook. We are left with the one point perspective before we finish the packet. So it's like the second to last page right here. The page should look like Mr. this. Mr. Mill, um, my yeah. camera's not working, so um, I don't think I'll be able to turn on my camera. That's fine, as long as you're here. All right, with that said, the page should look like this. It says one point perspective. And you'll see a variety of squares. Um, it is a step-by-step -step tutorial right here. We'll be doing it together. But let's go over it together, and I'll show you guys what the end product will look like. It says draw a bedroom using a one-point perspective. Use your ruler to make sure you have straight lines. So what I did last class, if you guys didn't know, I pretended that I had no workbook, and I pretended that I just had a piece of paper. So what I did was I drew a nice big square on a blank sheet of paper like this. And then I started following the directions on this packet, and I'll leave the packet on your screen also. And basically, we just went as a class together, and we tried to figure out the basics of how to draw an empty room. And then once we did this empty room, we had uh, the kids decorate it any way they'd like. Okay, So we can add our personal touches at the very end. Okay, So let's just get to this portion right here, where it looks more like a room with an empty uh, hallway like this. And we'll go from there. So you're going to be using either a blank sheet of paper or the little square provided for you over here. And if you don't have a ruler, um, a side of piece of paper will work just as fine. A book will work. But a ruler uh, works best when it comes to this project. And of course, a pencil, because you will be erasing a lot. OK? So make sure you have these materials out. We're going to start right, right away. OK, first step, it's asking us to make an X using the points of the square. So I'm going to match my ruler to the points of the square like this. And I'm going to draw as light as I can because it's going to ask us to erase portions of this x later. But I don't want to draw too dark. So I'm going to go the opposite way now from point to point and draw my next line. And that should make my x. Once you're done with your x, you can just make a little dot in the middle with your pencil, OK? And remember, we will be erasing parts of the x later on as seen in the steps over here. The steps are unfortunately not numbered, but it's okay. All right, so next step, if you look in the second block right here, we're gonna add a square. We're gonna be using the lines from the X to symbolize where the square starts to turn from side to side. So over here, I'm gonna draw a line like this. If you wanna use a ruler, you can. I'm gonna freehand it. And then using this X right here, I'm going to go turn. So it's going to be an edge. I'm going to go here, turn again, and it's straight. Now I'm going to make sure that the square matches up at the very end. So now there's point to point to point to point. Ta-da, just like that. Now looking at what you've done, I'm going to put my pencil down so you guys can see that I'm not jumping ahead. So I'm not going to do anything in particular yet. If you guys look at this last square with the fireplace, can anyone tell me what the square that we just did, what is it supposed to be? Is it the floor? Is it the ceiling? Is it a sidewall? What is this square supposed to be that we just drew? Anyone know? Kellen, what is that square supposed to be that we just drew? Um, it's supposed to be the wall behind the fireplace. Yeah, it's supposed to be the very back wall. So that's gonna be the furthest point in our picture or basically the furthest point in the bedroom. That's what we just did. All right, the next step, we are going to skip drawing the horizontal line all the way across the page. We don't need that. But we are going to do something else, though. We are going to remove the X inside that mini square that we just drew. So if you look at this example right here, they erased the X in the middle. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to start erasing. My X was nice and clear. So maybe later I can add like a frame or maybe even a fireplace. It's like how they did. But I'm just going to erase it for now. That way it's not in my way. Okay. And then for you guys to see a little bit better, I will do you guys a favor and trace it a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see better on your screen. 
I'll only trace a couple parts. There we go. I'll trace this much for now, just so you guys can see better. All right, it looks like the next two steps is adding a doorway. Look how they added, or look how they figured out how to do, how to do the top of the door. They figured out how to do the angle of the top of the door by using the dot in the middle, because it's a one point perspective. So if we use that dot in the middle, and something straight like a ruler, we can go in between the two lines right here, basically the ends of the wall. And we can try to figure out the angle of the door just by drawing a line like that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use a marker so you guys can see it a little better in your camera. There we go. I got that angle of that line of the top door by using that dot. Now all I got to do is just to draw a vertical line going from here, that line I just did, to the line on the bottom, which is basically the end of our X from earlier. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see what I just did. And then now what I can do the right hand vertical line, I can go in the bottom of it, and I can just draw a horizontal line going towards the left and stopping where the other line meets. And that way it looks more like a hallway. And then now if I want, I can complete the X a little bit now by creating the edges of the, that side of the wall, basically the baseboard. And now it looks like there's a hallway coming from the basement or coming from that bedroom. All right, the next three steps. So this square, this square, and this square is basically directions of how to do the window. Basically, it's telling you that you can use the dot in the middle again, and you can use that to figure out the angle for the top and the bottom edges of the window. So I'm going to show you guys how I would do it. Match my ruler to that dot again. Draw the top edge of the window. And then in my case, I'm going to use a pencil so I don't mess up. I'm going to use a pencil to draw the vertical lines from those that line I just did. And the reason why I did it in pencil is because I have no idea where the lines meet up. So I have to use my ruler again and the dot to try to find the angle of how I want the window to be. So I'm going to use a marker. There. So now if I remove my ruler, you guys can see why I used a pencil. Because now I can kind of figure out the exact points of where my window ends. And then I can erase the uh, I can erase the parts of the window I don't need. And there we go. So that's basically what I did with last class, as you guys can see right here. So for the remainder class, I want you guys to decorate your own room. Do you want to add like how they did, like the floorboards using the vanishing points? You can kind of copy how they did with the floor. Um, if you want to make like a fireplace, a poster, a chandelier, you can. And with that said, uh, class isn't over yet. But at this time, I'm going to allow you guys to share some of your artwork, like I always do. So does anyone want to raise their hand and volunteer and share with us anything that they've done? Grace, go ahead. So um, I actually just did these two today. I, I'm not really finished with them, but I thought I would show you. Well, one I'm finished with, but the other I'm not quite. But it, it's kind of finished. So my first one here is this. So I, Good job. I, I did a checkerboard kind of. Yeah. Like a checkerboard pattern. I thought mm -hmm. that, that would be cool. And then this other one, I'm still trying to um, figure out what it is, but um, I think that I'm going to make this into a little city. That's really cool. Awesome job. 
All right, so with that said, anyone else want to share? Trevor, go ahead. So yesterday I actually painted this Among Us character. Cool. That's awesome. Good job. Anyone else want to share? I see Caitlin. Go ahead. I made this with a thing that that I actually drawed some like details in it. Like oh, cool. And stuff. It's for my really complicated. Mm -hmm. I started outside and then I ended up doing it inside. Gotcha. All right, I see uh, Eva, go ahead. For my birthday, I got a gift card to Target and I bought this and I got to paint it. That's really cool. Oh, wow. That's awesome. You're going to hang it up in your bedroom? Cool. All right, anyone else want to share? We only, we have a couple more minutes left. So, Leica, go ahead. Again, I made this in my sketchbook. Oh, neat. Wow, you're really good at drawing wolves. Good job. Thank you. All right, anyone else want to share? I see Kira's hand up. Go ahead. Um, I made this a cute cartoon marshmallow. Oh, nice. That's really cute. Nice. Mr. Mill. Kennedy, what's up? Um, I do have some art to share, but I forgot that I that I can't turn on my camera, so I'm going to show it um, next time that we meet. Okay. That's cool, though. All right. Uh, anyone else want to share? I will start stop the recording soon, though. Anyone else want to share? Anyone else? 